Second question is, uh, before you had a very nice analogy between GPG and SSL and why the one is used by many people and why one not, and that is, well, because the browser does everything for us very easily. And the browser in Bitcoin is pretty much, the, as I see it, is the Bitcoin wallet or yes. whatever wallet you use. And, um, and I would love to see there more innovation in that space. So my question for you would be, um, what features do you would love to see in future wallets? What should we focus on to make it more easy to use for the average person and more usable? Well, wallets are the, the, the fundamental nexus of innovation because they are the fundamental user interface. They are the mechanism by which a person interacts with the system. Um, but also the same applies to API based systems where machines are interacting with the blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain or other open blockchains. Um, wallets, their user interface, their design characteristics, their ease of use, their workflows, they are the basis by which we will understand or fail to understand this technology, be able to use or fail to be able to use, uh, be able to expand or fail to expand uh, this technology. And you say there's not much innovation in wallets. Uh, I accept that it seems again, it seems very slow at first as it builds momentum. I remember when there was one wallet for Bitcoin. Uh, it was called QT, um, and then we had lots of nodes on the network because <laughs> you needed to run a full node just to have a wallet. And now we don't have as many nodes, um, and apparently that's a problem. I remember the first SPV wallet. I remember the first um, uh, mobile wallet uh, written on Android by Andreas Schilbach, uh, who I met recently in Berlin. He's an amazing person. Um, and that's the first mobile wallet I used. And then there were two. And from two we went to twenty, and then from twenty we went to two hundred, and soon we'll have twenty thousand wallets. And most of them will be crap. But in the process, we now have five or six really, really, really good wallets. Uh, wallets that offer us ease of use, ease of backup, uh, extensibility, recoverability, resilience, um, security. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this. I don't normally do this in public, but I would like to say there are a bunch of people in this room who invented. BIP39 mnemonic phrases that completely revolutionized how easy wallets are to use. So, round of applause for that team. I go around the world and I tell people your entire Bitcoin wallet can be uh, sprayed as graffiti on a wall in the form of 12 English words, and you can share that with the world. How the hell do you stop that? You can transmit your entire wallet by writing it on a piece of paper and recovering it, memorizing 12 words, and walking across a tightly controlled border where currencies are confiscated and arrive unscathed on the other side. Uh, you can recover all of your transactions and all of your money. Wallets have made enormous progress in the last two years. And I think we're missing the fact that they're getting even better. Um, several new features that are going to revolutionize wallets. Uh, segregated witness with its ability to add uh, commitment signatures to input values, make wallets a lot easier to do, especially offline wallets. Um, uh, the ability to do lightweight transactions with segregated witness. Payment channels and Lightning Network will be mind-blowing in its applications for wallets. And it's going to take at least three years until you see those applications, but then they will accelerate. Um, and I hope to see a, a whole slew of wallets that are dedicated to specific communities, wallets that support people with disabilities, wallets that support people with all kinds of different languages and number systems and uh, cultural practices, etc. Um, and that's one of the things we have to realize, which is we're going to get a lot of diversity here. This is not going to be um, you know, one or two wallets that everybody uses. I mean, that would be a disaster. Instead, what I hope to see is a Pareto distribution, a power law of wallets. You have you know, five or six wallets that have 60% of the user population, and then you have 10,000 wallets, each for a tiny, tiny niche that serve many different purposes. Um, this is a brand new field. It's growing very, very fast. The momentum is picking up. All of this is open source. Uh, the various wallets um, use each other to discover new ways of doing things. Um, reusable payment codes is another fantastic innovation that gives you stealth addresses combined with hierarchical deterministic wallets. 
Uh, that's been implemented in one of the wallets I was looking at recently, which is called Samurai Wallet, that's focused on privacy. And the other really interesting feature is that you see wallets that are focused on solving specific needs. Some are about, as I said, ease of use, some are about convenience, some are about retail applications, and some are about very, very, very strong privacy. So I'm very optimistic about wallets. <laughs>